Well, it's day one of MSI 2016. I'm joined right now from, by Perks, who is the first person I've interviewed from G2, I think. And this is our first interview. How excited are you for this, Perks? I'm very excited. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> and that's great because I'm sure, you know, this is a good moment for you because you guys went 0-2 today, so that's kind of rough, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. uh, pretty rough. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> at least we got this interview. Uh, all right, so you, yeah, what happened? Because so many people were ranking G2 pretty high going into this event, but sort of a rough start. Obviously, SKT is pretty scary, but maybe we can start off with that uh, Flash Wolves game earlier today. What happened there? Okay, so basically, uh, we didn't play for three weeks ever since, like, 16th, since the end of the LCS, because we didn't have scrim partners, so we came here, like, two days ago, and we got, like, six games of practice in scrims okay. in three weeks, so that kind of sucks. And... Um, Going into Flash Loose games, I would say we were like pretty far ahead. I don't know, I think like six kill ahead or something. But then just people got over cocky and made really aggressive plays, like dive under two reds and something. And then Azir got like a lot of free kills, which made him really OP because we could never get to him because right. we are so short range. So basically, they just won on our mistakes. But versus SKT, we just got humiliated. Like, yeah. So that's kind of what they do, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess. Well, okay, so let's talk about that first part. You said that you guys weren't able to get any practice in the past three weeks. Have you just been solo queuing then? Uh, yeah, I've been solo queuing a lot. Okay. Uh, others, I don't know that much, but uh, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, were you, so I know that the NA teams were able to find scrims with, or CLG was able to find scrims with challenger teams. Was there just like literally no one in Europe at all doing any organized games? I mean, we could have scrimmed like challenger teams, but we didn't think it would be good enough because there's like, barely any like good challenger teams or something right. and uh, Koreans wanted to go home so basically we just decided that we're gonna go home and try to evolve during tournament. Sure. So do you think that that means that you guys will be able to sort of get better over the course of this tournament or are you like really nervous about sort of the lack of practice you guys have had? I mean I really think that we can, that we can be like easily top two team so I hope that we evolve during this tournament fast enough for us to show results and get to the playoffs. Sure. Alright so you, someone who I think feels pretty confident in his position as a mid laner. Uh, in fact, I, Kelsey was telling me about, Kelsey Moser from the score was telling me about a hilarious meme uh, where you were talking about you versus the Chinese mid laners, where apparently one of the Chinese sites made a, a picture or a video of someone that looked like you getting a bunch of cotton stuck in their mouth or something when you were really? saying that. Yeah, I don't, you need to ask her about this because it's okay, actually okay. pretty hilarious. Uh, but anyway, then you had to go up against Faker. So what was that experience like uh, for, this is the first time you've ever faced him, right? So Yeah, so basically playing versus Faker was like, he's so smart that you never know what, what they're going to do as a team and what he's going to do. Uh, I had like a really simple lane matchup. I just have to push and he has to, and I have to like, yeah, just win by farm. I was like 10 CS up or something, 15. But then I had to tip it up because my top lane was about to get dived, and then basically my TP goes on five minutes cooldown, and then mid laner has TP advantage, and then he TP's both and gets two chi kills, and then yeah. same again. So I think we just got outclassed really heavily as a team. Uh, obviously, he's a better player than me, and he's just a god, you know, but right. yeah, there's not much I could have done this game myself. So Yeah, well, let's talk about that. I mean, you are such a confident guy when it comes to your, your play. But then you have to go up against Faker. Is that like a mental thing for you? Like, is it is it kind of this thing where you lane against him and you're like, oh god, it's Faker, or is, do no. you feel fine? No, I feel completely normal. I don't have emotions in game. Okay. So basically, whoever I play against, I will be fine. Okay. Could be anyone. Yes. All right. Now, uh, I do want to ask you a little bit about what did what did you think just randomly of that Aurelian Soul pick in that first game by Hootie? Uh, actually, we screamed against them, and he played versus me. And I don't know, he was pretty good at it, I guess, or I never played against it. Sure. So, I, I, don't, I actually don't know myself how good the champ is, so I'm, maybe he picks it again against me tomorrow, so yeah. we, like, we will see. But yeah, I, I'm not sure yet on this champ. Sure. Now, we were talking a little bit before the interview uh, about your opinions about the NA team that's here, CLG. Uh, I was curious, because uh, that first game, you guys lost to Flash Wolves. CLG, CLG's last game, they, they beat Flash Wolves. What do you think that kind of means for G2 versus CLG? Uh, well, for now, NA is better than you, okay. but tomorrow EU is going to be better than NA. All right, that's, that's good, that's good. I'm excited to see how that goes down. It'll be fun. Uh, hopefully you guys get your, your feet underneath you with the scrims and sort of the, the practice. Is there anything that you would like to say to any of the G2 fans out there, any of the teams that are, or fans that are rooting for you guys here at the event? Um, 
Thanks for support and sorry for disappointing, but I'm sure we'll pick it up and if not this tournament, then next time. Right. Thank you so much for the interview. Congratulations on uh, making it to MSI okay. and, 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 against, to. and CLG tomorrow. <laughs> well, I was going to say congratulations <laughs> on making it to, to MSI <laughs> and congratulations on the victory against CLG tomorrow okay. based, on, yeah, based yeah. on this interview. Thank you. Again, thank you so much for the interview. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of our coverage of all things MSI at Yahoo Esports.